Today's with Stella. Today is a very, very, very special episode because we're gonna be talking about three whole things. Three. Uh, the first thing we're gonna be talking about is uh, tennis when I was two. And there's gonna be a special guest in that, so stay tuned. And uh, second thing we're gonna be talking about is about just my life this week. Third thing I'm gonna be talking about is cooking tips and me baking a cake about last week. So, you're probably wondering who is a special guest. Well, it is my dad. And my dad remembers when I was playing tennis when I was only two to three years old. So please welcome the special guest, my dad. Hey guys. <laughs> so, daddy, whenever I was two, do you even remember anything about me playing tennis? Oh, I remember everything about you playing tennis. Where do I begin? Perfect. Um, well, I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. So, the first question is, what, did I actually play tennis when I was there, or did I just kind of mess around? Well, I just kind of tossed you balls and let you swing the racket and hit it. We didn't yeah. play, play, uh -huh. uh, but I taught you what forehands and backhands and volleys were. Okay, and obviously have, I have grown in tennis across the years, and what made you decide when I was two uh, that I should al already go to the tennis courts well, when I was two? because your whole family played tennis. Right, Me, your yeah. mother, your brother... And so you wanted to be uh, a part of the tennis uh -huh. life. And so that's why we decided to take you. And boy, were you good, too. <laughs> right, right away, you were good. So do you remember exactly what date this was? Was it, or what season? Was it in it, the it winter? Was, it was in the summer. I can summer, remember that. Okay, okay. Um, Definitely in the summer. I think it was early, early summer, probably late May. Okay. You were two, almost three years old. That is correct, sir. <laughs> so, uh, another question is, how did you teach me when I'm only two of what forehands and backhands were? Did you, like, show me or did you just tell me? Yeah, I mean, I showed you, but you were very easy to teach, even yeah. at two years old. Uh -huh. um, so, I just showed you what everything was and let you toss some balls and hit it. And, of course... You know, there were certain um, issues, <laughs> you know, you, you had trouble uh, concentrating for very long, but you were only two years old. Yeah. So it usually would turn into me trying to teach you for about 10 minutes. Uh -huh. And then for about 20 or 30 minutes, us just uh, hitting balls for fun. Yeah. Um, how, so I've been understanding that whenever you're younger, you do sort of a different form of volleys. Whenever you're younger, you do this form, not the actual form of volleys, this form. Mm -hmm. So what age did you start teaching me the actual form? Oh, I would say I probably started teaching you the correct way to do it at about six years old. Six, okay. Mm -hmm. And I was in of uh, the youngest division. Yes. Okay. You were in uh, uh, the red ball division. Yes. And that's when, about six years old, is when I started teaching you how to volley with a continental grip. So, the tennis center that we play at, did it look any different? Um, let's see. No, it didn't really look different uh, down on the courts. The, okay. um, the floor and furniture and stuff like that throughout the building was different. Okay. It was old and ragged. Now, you know, we got newer stuff. But as far as the actual courts, no, pretty much the same. Okay, that's all the questions I have for you today. So, thank you for joining Saturdays with Stella. And you might see him again. You might see my mom. Anybody. So, uh, thank you. Well, you're welcome. I'm a huge fan. So, <laughs> it, this is my honor to be on Saturdays yeah. with Stella. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. That was my dad. And, uh, yeah. So, next thing we're going to talk about is uh, my life. And this week in the summer, 
this summer we're gonna be doing a re another remodel on our house. Uh, last summer we did a completely dining room slash den remodel. This whole area you're looking at right here looked absolutely different. It looked outdated. But we are, our bathroom is outdated, so we decided to fix it up. And our handyman is going to be coming in a couple weeks. I'm not sure the exact date. But he's going to fix our bathroom and remodel it. Our bathroom is going to look so much better. I'm so excited for it because it's my bathroom. But that means I'm going to have to be sharing a bathroom with my parents. And that just gets claustrophobic. <laughs> anyway, uh, and we'll have to put all my stuff in another room, and then we'll have to cover my bedroom, because my bedroom is literally, like, right by, right by the bathroom. Uh, so I'm excited for it, but kind of dreading plastic wrap over my door. <laughs> um, but I'm sure they'll leave, like, a hole where I could get out or something. Uh, but I'm really excited for that. And I think it would just be such a joy uh, for us to get our bathroom remodeled. We're slowly but surely remodeling our house. And uh, that's all about my life this week. Nothing much except for the bathroom remodel. Next thing we're going to talk about is me baking a cake. Gosh, I made a fun Fetty cake. And this is what the packaging and frosting looks like. Um, so I built, oh, uh, made a cake all by myself, no help by my mom. And it, it was, there were times when it was challenging. But I just, I got through it, okay? I struggled, but I got through it. And I, f I recommend a fun Fetty cake that you should buy to make a cake if you want to make a cake. Uh, now, it comes sold separately. It's the cake mix and then the frosting and I'm gonna show you a short film right now of all the clips I filmed put together of me baking the cake so you're gonna see me looking a lot of cake batter and a lot of icing in this so please enjoy this short little movie
So, how'd you like the movie? That was good. Uh, I have some cooking tips for you guys. Whenever you're baking a cake, if it is a fun fetty cake, don't let sit for two hours. It will be cold at two hours. Ice cold. You want to let it sit for 30 to 45 minutes. This is a fun fetty cake. I'm not saying this for all cakes. This is just a fun fetty cake. Um, and it it's really fun to make and the frosting is so good. Um, I have this cake. I have a little slice every day now. <laughs> I love it, but I also don't want it to get stale easily. We have like five boxes of that fun funny cake. Uh, it can be a cake or cupcakes or cake pop. If you don't know what a cake pop up is, look it up on Google. Um, but I really, really love the cake. So that's my cooking tips. Uh, and that was that film of me cooking a cake uh, in all of the order. And it's not every step, uh, it's just kind of little clips. But yeah, that is the Saturdays with Stella for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna be continuing these three things in all of my Saturdays with Stella and we'll see how it does. Um, Make sure to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. Comment down below a trivia question. Okay. This trivia question is... How much... <laughs> That's kind of gross. But how much uh, spit you produce a day, do you think can fill A, a bank bowl, B, two bathtubs, or C, a two-story house? A day, how much do you produce a day? Comment your answers down below, and then next Saturday's with Stella, I'm gonna tell you the answer. I really hope you guys enjoyed the Saturdays with Stella. Make sure to tune in for next time. Subscribe and like, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time.